We're outside Weymouth Magistrates Court here at, uh, on the lovely seaside Riviera of England. On a hearing for aggravated trespass to do with trying to obstruct the planting of GM crops in a field just up the road. Um, I'm here to get, I think, to get convicted and sentenced for aggravated trespass. Uh, aggravated trespass for locking onto tractors to prevent a GM crop being planted. That was going to destroy someone else's livelihood, poison the countryside and open the way for greater control over the seed and therefore people's livelihood. Well, this court appearance comes after we um, won our case. We were acquitted, we were found not guilty of aggravated trespass. We used common law of necessity to protect property which uh, basically says that we did what was something a reasonable person would do under the same circumstances. The GM crop was going to cause damage, that that damage would be imminent as soon as it was planted, there was therefore necessity to act and that we argued that we would use reasonable force in order to prevent it from being planted. The judge accepted all three parts of that defence. And after two days of complicated evidence, um, the judge agreed that we were right. He found us not guilty. So we were okay to trespass, we were okay to lock on to the digger, that's what the judge recognised, because he recognised there was a greater wrong about to take place, you know, i.e. GM pollution all over the place. So yeah, that's the right decision, the right answer. Thank you very much, judge. And then on appeal, two High Court judges who didn't even get to read our evidence got to find us guilty on, a, on some legal technicality. Because the Crown Prosecution Service don't like this sort of very democratic legal defence to become, um, st become established law, they appealed against it. I think what the Crown Prosecution Service were keen to do was make sure that they sent a very strong message that this wasn't going to be an acceptable line of defence. And after only two hours of highly case-based um, evidence given in the High Court, the High Court judges decided that the verdict should be overturned. However, as I understand, no new case law has been written, so actually that avenue hasn't been closed off for other people. So they appealed and they won, surprise, surprise. Um, We've been sent back to the Magistrates Court with an order to convict us and sentence us this afternoon. And so now we've got to go back before the same judge that um, agrees that we're not guilty and be told that we are guilty because he doesn't have any choice in the matter. Hopefully, uh, just let us off and we'll all be home for tea and cake. <laughs> Basically, since I received the letter in the post three, four weeks ago, I've known that yeah, we, have been found, we are to be found guilty and to be sentenced today. Frankly, this is outrageous and it shouldn't have been allowed to get to this stage. And now I've either got to pay a fine or get a prison. It's just bloody ridiculous, really, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just so... Uh, I just feel, feel shit about it. I'm not going to pay any fine that I'm given for this particular thing because why should I? I was acting right. I, I, I feel that this thing has now been proved, even by the government's own tests, to be dangerous to the countryside. It's going to affect biodiversity. It's really important, actually, that we bloody wake up to it. I mean, it's so important, I'm even prepared to go down for it. And, and I'm a bit scared about that, but pff, this is crap. This is the first time I've ever been found guilty for anything. It's all, all new ground for me. And I'm a bit nervous, really. I don't really know what to do, but I take it in my stride. I'm going to refuse to pay on the grounds that I didn't do anything wrong, so I'm not going to help subsidise the state's continuation of this sort of thing. I'm li I am likely to pay or find a way of getting someone to pay for me, and that um, I really don't want to have stress of, of a prison sentence or, or bailiffs banging on my door and coming to take everything away. If we do go down for this, I feel it's, I feel it's sort of significant <clears throat> in the way that dissent and any voices of protest about GM is, have tried to be shut out and despite the fact 90% of the people are saying and recognising that we don't need it, it's bad for the environment and it's only good for a, a small group of businessmen and it's, it's always the case, it's like, come on, when are we going to get it? And if it means I've got to spend Christmas in prison, which is a really hard thing with all the friends and family and like, you know, solstice is going to be fires and mead and cake and I'm going to be in a bloody locker, so yeah. You know, if I didn't feel strongly about it, I wouldn't be prepared to be doing that. So, sod it. Do you ever question your life? In the bigger picture of the, the GM campaign, we're winning. We're winning economically, we're winning politically, and we're, we're, we're winning or have won morally. We don't really have a leg to stand on. We're seeing the biotech industry on their last legs. We'll have them yet.